Let's unbox a very super secret special package that is going to be the theme of this video. Let's see if I can get it with my hands. Cause I'm too lazy to go find my scissors. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't like tearing the box apart here. So I got the book that literally everyone has been talking about. And that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This book is going viral. Look at these sprayed edges. And I am going to dedicate a reading vlog to reading this book. There's this map on the end papers. This is the side. I mean, the sprayed edges are really cool. I probably won't be annotating the book because I don't want to ruin the sprayed edges. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so this book is by Entangled Publishing's new fantasy romance focused imprint called Red Tower Books. And it's about Violet. And I think she's like Ellers Dan syndrome. And her mother is a general that makes her go to this military college. And she has to learn to ride a dragon. I'm running out of battery, so I wanted to do this intro clip real quick. I'm about to start. I'm going to take you along on my journey and update you on my thoughts as I read. And I'm really excited because I've heard nothing but good things. And I really wanted to read this for you guys and give you my thoughts and opinions, especially while it's going super viral. So I'm about to start this and I will give you a little update when I've read a little bit so far. Other things that I'm reading this weekend are I just finished the first Inheritance Game audiobook. Okay, it's morning. I'm about to walk my dog who's very impatiently waiting. And I just wanted to say that I'm reading The Inheritance Games and I'm at 80% but I'm very excited because my holds for the other two books just came through. So that means I can read this series straight through if I read them fast enough and I have a bunch of cleaning to do today. So I plan to listen to my audiobooks while I do that. So time for a walk and to listen to this and to go get some Dunkin' Donuts. Super excited because I have the second and the third sitting in my library, my Libby app for at least like another 10 days. So hopefully I can just read those all the way through because the first book was so fun and cool. I'm so excited. And then I'm also in the middle of Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. My camera's about to die, so I'll give you more thoughts later. I'm on page 138. I am taking this one a little bit slower, but it's definitely already really meaningful to me. And I can tell this is gonna be a new all-time favorite for me. So I really wanna savor it and take it slowly, you know? So that is that. But like I mentioned, this vlog is specifically focused on fourth wing, so let's get to reading. So now that my camera is not like super dead, I can give you a little bit more about what this book is about. Here I have my little baby who was outside with me and is now hot. So we came inside because if I'm outside without him, he just barks to come out. So I'm gonna take a little inside break. <laughs> so far, we're introduced to Violet Sorengale and she is the daughter of a general dragon rider and she has to go to this military college. She's basically being forced to be a dragon rider even though she wants to be a scribe because her mother is this big badass general and of course military school is not easy. So in the first two chapters like what you have to do to like get in on conscription day is you have to go across this like parapet bridge that's like a slim stone bridge and it's very narrow and goes across this huge ravine and it basically is like to te test your balance as a rider and so yeah so far we've seen Violet take the first test to enter into this dragon school it's gonna be like cutthroat out like the candidates are gonna be killing each other and then of course we've met Zayden and his father was leader of the rebellion um but all the rebellion like kids like were forced to conscript so now he's a wing leader in the riders quadrant and so i think there's going to be some tension between them and we're just going to learn about dragon riders and violet herself is 
described as very like small and brittle and I think that she has Ehlers-Don syndrome um, or EDS because the author um, has talked about on her Instagram and her children have that as well. I don't remember if she has it, but her children definitely do. Um, so she wrote that into the book, which is really exciting to have a fantasy romance with like disability rep and to see Violet be a badass um, despite, you know, some adversary that she has to face. So I'm really excited to continue reading this. It is such a beautiful day, which is why I was reading outside, but now we're inside for a little bit to cool off and I only got to page like 28 so far but I have been truly enjoying reading this so I'll keep you updated on how things go but yeah so far I'm intrigued we have met the love interest and he's really hot that's how he's described I'm into it I'm probably gonna uh, hit page 50 and then after that take a little like YouTube break catch up on some YouTube videos that I want to watch and maybe like head back outside but I'm just having a chill day I clean my apartment I went on a big walk with my dog so like I'm just feeling like relaxed and like just trying to really rejuvenate this weekend which I need because I've been so so busy lately oh my gosh okay we just got to the first interaction with Xander like where they're interacting more with each other and there was some knives to throat action and there's so much tension between them because her mom is responsible for his dad's death because his dad led the rebellion and I'm so intrigued I'm so intrigued uh, this is gonna be a non-spoiler vlog by the way so I'm just gonna like say things and if you've read the book you would know but if you haven't read the book I'm not gonna spoil because I want this to be fun for everyone. That was that was some good enemies to lovers tension. That was some good enemies to lovers tension. I'm very intrigued and very excited. I have, I'm on page, let's see, 90. I think I'm gonna read one more chapter and then probably make some dinner because I'm tired, but I know that this has spice in it, so I'm interested to see how they get to the level of where they would be doing things because they clearly hate each other right now. Oh, I just love this, these dragons. It makes me so happy. I'm so happy I like got on the hype train and pre and like bought this because I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not, which is silly because it's like clearly everything that I love in books. But yeah, I'm so glad I got the this special edition before it sold out because I think they're running out and it's only a limited first printing, right? So excited. When her name is Violet, but he calls her Violet. And the only nickname I get is Half a Meeple. My AirPods case is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Got it on the Zon. So I'm about to cook dinner and I like to listen to an audiobook while I'm cooking dinner to make the time go by. Otherwise, I feel like it goes really slow. So I'm starting the second audiobook. I could read Killjoy though. That's like a three hour audiobook. It's like the prequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. But I think I'm gonna just read The Hawthorne Legacy anyways. Let me just check and make sure it's the second in the series. So yeah, I am obsessed with the first book. It was so good. It gives like family drama, intrigue, and riddles. And Barnes and Noble's coming out with a special edition of the first one. So hopefully they do that for the other ones, but I'm gonna buy that one. Um, but I'm really enjoying the audiobooks. So I'm gonna listen to this while I cook and see how far I get. I sometimes go in between 2.5 and 3. It just depends on my mood and like the accents of the readers. So I got HelloFresh for dinner. Um, HelloFresh sponsor me. This is not sponsored. I buy this with my own money, but I wish it was sponsored. So HelloFresh, if you're watching this, um, tonight I'm gonna make pork taquitos. And I don't eat guacamole, so unfortunately it will not be on the top. It just bothers my stomach. But yeah, maybe I'll do some little B-roll with cooking. I've never done that before, but I do cook because I have to eat. So let's eat and listen. So I got to the part in this book where, if you read it, the gauntlet is this obstacle course, and the way, the way she's describing it, it's literally an obstacle course from American Ninja Warrior. And I was reading it, and I'm like, these obstacles seem so familiar. And it's because it's she, literally like 
American Ninja Warrior, but for dragon trainers. Like at the end, he has to like run up a wall and like grab it. And I just think that's like so cute and funny. I'm like, that is a great thing to take as inspiration for a fantasy book because it's probably the closest that we as humans have to train people for fantasy like type tasks. I'm on page 180 and I literally don't think I can stop reading this book. Oh my God, the plot twist that just happened. We're gonna know more about the dragons and just like what just happened was crazy. I did not see that coming. <gasps> you just took my spot. He just, he just moved to my spot and took it. Hello? That's where I sit to read. That's not allowed, mister. I guess you're cute enough to allow it. Um, oh my god, this book. Vlogging is about to get chaotic. It's like almost midnight. I obviously have no good lighting. I'm like in my pajamas, but I will not be sleeping until I finish this book because I don't know what she put in this. I don't know what she put in this, but it's crack. I I'm addicted. I'm like literally halfway through, but oh my God, the dra I love the dragons. I need a dragon of my own. Gavin, can I ride you into battle? I need a dragon. I need Zayden. Oh my God, this book. Um, I'm about to get a dragon tattoo like a this is so, I, I understand why this book is so popular because it is just compulsively readable with such like a, like a heart pounding plot. Like all the dragons and like the, the high stakes. It's like, this is why I love reading. I love this book. Anyways, it's late. I'm getting a little dose of caffeine with this Diet Pepsi to keep myself awake to finish this book or at least get far because uh, I gotta at least get to a spice scene because this book has been described as spicy. I'll let you know my thoughts when I get there. Good morning. It's morning. Don't judge me for wearing the same shirt because it's only me that sees it and I guess you guys. I'm about to take Gavin on his morning walk and I'm listening to my audiobook while I walk. It's gonna be a pretty long walk because he has a lot of energy. We're gonna walk to Dunkin' Donuts and I'm listening to the Hawthorne Legacy. I'm about 19% through. I feel like I'm flying through and that's Gavin complaining, why the heck aren't we walking yet? So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice little morning walk. It's gonna, we're gonna be walking for at least 45 minutes. So I'll get through a decent amount and then I'm gonna continue to read that while I finish up the rest of my chores that I have to do. And then I will get back to reading Fourth Wing. I got to page 310 last night. I literally almost stayed up all night to read it, but then I got really tired and I can't wait to continue reading it today. I'm actually sweating from my walk and then doing chores, but I made it to 50% of the Hawthorne legacy. It's so good so far. Continuing on with the mystery, I can't wait to see what happens. I definitely think I'm going to be picking up physical copies of this book as well with A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because I love that series and I read it on audio. Just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And now that I've made a decent way, headway into this book because I don't have any, like, I'm not trying to finish it this weekend like I am with Fourth Wing. But now that I've done all my chores, my apartment is so clean. I can sit and read and relax. I might sit outside because it's beautiful out. And we're just going to finish Fourth Wing. So it's clear to me that he, Zayden, is definitely obsessed with Violet. I mean, he calls her violence, but she just doesn't know it. She's unaware. I mean, it hasn't been confirmed in the text, but like, I'm getting the vibe, you know. And I love that, tro I love that trope. I love that trope. Ah, it's so, so good. Also, I ordered a Greek salad for lunch and it's still not here and I'm so hungry and I'm just reading and I'm like, I am so hungry, where's the Greek salad? The way that I am giggling, kicking, screaming, what does this they do? Like you kick your feet. Oh, hi Gavin. That's how I feel about this spicy scene. So I got to the first, the first spicy scene. The slow burn was slow burden and it just made the payoff so worth it. Sometimes I think Slow burn is the way to go to really build the tension between your characters, but oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. 
because this first book is really focusing on the plot of like the military school and I think there's going to be like a larger political pop plot at play I'm going to give like more thoughts later like more in-depth thoughts later like when I finish as a final review oh uh, where is where is my dragon where are my dragons where's my Zayden because I need him Oh new book boyfriend for real i'm feeling inspired because i've had my hair up all day usually i don't like i feel insecure sometimes and i don't put my hair up when i film but i'm feeling inspired by because violet says she always has her hair in a coronet so i think i'm gonna take you guys along as i try to like braid my hair in a coronet but i'm just gonna go play around and do my hair want my hair up today and i feel like that's just such goes along with the theme of this and like every time I go to the gym from now on, I'm going to be like, I am training to be a dragon rider because I talk about needing to like strengthen Violet's joints to help her from like not being as brittle. And like they were having her do exercises and it was like the thigh machine in the gym. I was like, oh my gosh. And she talks about how she like lifts weights and trains and like a medieval type gym. It's great. I love it. But now it's time to braid my hair. Ooh, so apparently you're supposed to start from the back. So let's part my hair. Oh, okay, interesting. So this one has you doing Dutch braids, which is when you go under instead of French braid, which is over, and you literally go around the whole head. So let's see if I can get that to work. I don't know if this attempt is gonna be any good. because uh, that's not quite the look we're really going for here. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. This came out not bad. Especially with this, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and kind of position this on top of where it started. My bobby pin methods are not that great, but now we're also gonna pull the braid like, looser. Is it the best coordinate, coordinate brain ever? No, but it's something. Uh, this needs to be, bobby pins need to be fixed. I mean, it's like kind of bulging out at the back. I see the back. I mean, it's fine. But it's cute. Okay, oh my God. So good. I'm at the last chapter and so many people have been saying to record your reaction to the last chapter because it ends on a cliffhanger. So the light is like just dying now, but hopefully we can set up and get a good reaction. Okay, you can see my face. Let's read this last chapter. Guys, so much has happened in this book. It's like Insane, insane, so much has happened. I'm gonna give a full review like later when I can gather my thoughts, but like my heart is pounding, like oh, this book is so good, okay. Oh, that was a good plot 
twist. That was a good plot twist. Oh my god. Are you kidding? Oh, oh my god. I need to process. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Are you kidding? I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. Oh, when is the next book coming out? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm gonna have to like wait a year for the next book. Are you kidding? Oh my god. I feel like my life has just been changed. That was so good. <sighs> All right, well, that was an earth-shattering ending. Definitely a five out of five stars for me. I'm gonna do a more formal wrap-up after this, but first I'm gonna take Gavin for his nighttime walk and i'm probably gonna read more of the hawthorne legacy while we walk probably won't get that much further because we won't be going on a super long walk this time um oh my god oh my god ah sorry you'll get it be getting no makeup from me in this final review because it's the weekend and i honestly don't feel like putting on makeup even though i usually do for videos but anyways, I just finished this probably like a half hour ago, took Gavin on a walk. I tried to listen to more of the Hawthorne legacy and I'm just like, I'm too in my feels about this book. I can't. I think that this is literally like what fantasy romance is striving to be or like what my favorite fantasy romances are. And I think it's like what a lot of people that are into the genre have really been looking for because it's a well-crafted, very well thought out fantasy book but the characters it gets spicy there are some fantasy books that are like spice in a fantasy setting and so i think of those more as like smut but this is like i think of more of like a true like fantasy book with intricate plot thought out world politics very interesting characters and with the main focus on the plot but there is spice so i really appreciate that i think that's kind of like there sometimes is a balance between like plot and spice and there's a range right some books are more on the spicy end in a fantasy world some of them are more fantasy with spice i like them all but i feel like this book just balanced them all beautifully and it by the it was slow burn right so by the time there was spice like ooh, i was so invested i love these characters like violet has eller's dawn syndrome um it's not named in this book but like i'm pretty sure that's what she has so she like breaks very easily she's described as very fragile and like yet she still goes to this war school because her mother who's a general censor there we never figure out quite like why she does it besides family legacy but i feel like there has to be more to it and she just goes on this incredible journey this book takes place over the span of a year so you really get to see the characters grow and i really feel like that's a sign of a book that like can really transport you and like i feel like so much happened in the pages of these this book and like there was so much plot and development and it really just like in full speed speed ahead at the end and like Zayden was his new book boyfriend like oh my gosh I loved him but like he was also so complicated and hiding his own secrets and I loved the setup of the dragons and how they communicate like, I don't want to give away too much but I absolutely freaking loved the dragons I want to be a dragon rider like I've read some books with dragons I don't know these might be my favorite dragons like they're so cool I love the rider dragon dynamic. I loved the signet power and like how the power of the dragon manifests. Like, it's so cool. I loved it so, so much. I'm so, so happy that I read this when I did and got the sprayed edge because I would have been so sad if I had like missed out on that. And I even told my cousin, I'm like, you gotta go get the sprayed edge before it sells out. I know you're gonna love this book and I'm so happy I was able to tell her to go get it before it sold out. Oh my God, I literally like that last line. I feel like I kind of had saw it coming from a chapter before, but I, oh my god, it was such a good cliffhanger, and I, I just want the next book, oh my god, I, um, 
texted Taz because Taz read this maybe like a week ago and she's been waiting for me to finish and I'm like oh my god I literally just sent her a voice note of me screaming because I'm like <gasps> the shock and oh my god of everything of this book oh my god it's so 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 good and I love it so um obviously a million stars I'm so happy I was able to have like a very chill weekend I have not had a very chill weekend in a while it's a little work-life balance problem anyways so finally being able to like film a weekend reading vlog and like read a whole book in a weekend and really just like get swept up into the world like I literally from the time I woke up this morning the time I finish and probably for the next few days I will be thinking about these characters like I'm definitely gonna have to pick up something that's not fantasy for a bit just to like decompress from this book I'm definitely not gonna try and read anything else tonight because like I just I won't recover like it just won't hit the same as this book and this is definitely one of the best books I've read all year however I'm also in the middle of I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video but I also am in the middle of lessons in chemistry which is going to be a very it's like a very close and personal book to my heart and because it has to do a lot with women in science and I kind of had to take a break just because of things that have been going on in my professional life um but I am going to get back to that this week but that's definitely a book that I'm kind of taking a little bit more slowly because I don't know I feel like with a fantasy book I'll devour it but with like a general fiction book like I don't read it as fast if that makes sense I just kind of take my time but yeah I couldn't put this book down oh my god I'm going to be thinking about all these characters like not even just our two like female lead and male lead characters like all of the dragon riders like the bonds that they made along the way like I guess the war school was so brutal like you just see people dying all the time and like the emotional impact of that and it was brilliant it was brilliant five million stars out of five million stars all right let me know down below in the comments if you guys have read this wonderful wonderful book and what you guys thought of it and i can't wait to hear from you guys i had so much fun filming this and have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one